Oh my gosh, dude! That's insane! You're the deer! See, you're the deer, baby! What's up guys? We're just about to kick off our Year of the Deer campaign where it's gonna be a season dedicated to deer, specifically mule deer. And we're gonna get some last minute preparations here at Shields. Gonna get a full draw RX-5, get some data for it. Also gonna get some things done with, uh, gonna retime my peep, get some mills and some backpacking gear, prepare for our first hunts. Here we go. Well, it's the night before the opener of the Year of the Deer series. I'm gonna be excited. A little bit stressed, but I've spent, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten scouting trips up here just trying to take inventory of what's here. Shot my bow a lot. My fitness is on check. Um, it's time to make it happen. I'm a true buck, so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. We're gonna locate him, we're gonna bed him, and we're gonna stalk him. Rainstorm just came in, should be quiet. Tomorrow morning should be perfect. Shoot a couple more arrows and maybe make it out for a last minute scouting trip tonight. Here we go, it's opening day. I can't believe it's already here. We're gonna climb to the top of this ridge and see if we can't get eyes on one of the two bucks we're scouting. So we'll see what we can see. I got a big buck found. I don't know how to stalk him, but big mainframe four, big front forks, really good backs, pretty wide, good mass. the opener. We're getting absolutely soaked. We know where a buck is bedded in some trees, but we just know the general area. We can't really see them. It's never really... It's never really like the best scenario going in, not knowing exactly where the deer is, so one thing about it, this rain would mask our sound, so we do have that going. All right, well, Peyton and I have stuck it out here in the wind and rain for about an hour, but I don't know, it's weird. The buck kind of got up and ran out of there and ran into some really, really thick stuff, so. Don't have much of a play here. Uh, we're kind of day hunting from the truck, so. Good news is we can go dry out on the truck, but maybe go try to catch up with Aaron and see what they see, so. Can't get a hold of them, so. Great morning, great opening morning, right there. 
<laughs> we just gotta find out where these big bucks are and try to get them in a spot where we can actually see them and pursue them. We're gonna, we're gonna head up the ridge, get around in glass and maybe try to get a hold of Aaron and Paul. So Payne and I have a couple nice bucks spotted. These bucks seem to be up on their feet. It's about 11 o'clock and they're already up feeding again. Made an executive decision here. We're gonna go after this buck and get some action going. So I'm gonna range over to where I believe he's bedded. 427, a remote marker on base map. Boom, that'll give me a pin to reference on my way over there. Here we go, first stock of the season. for the walk of shame for me. Get the bow cover back on so I can keep the limbs and strings, strings clean. I went up there to glass and I kept walking off the ridge. And walking off, I'm kind of like, I'm just gonna find something. Like, I've scouted bucks right here. I'm like, they gotta be on this ridge. Well, right where you said you saw that nice buck going to the trees, I glassed up his tines. Oh, he's right there still. Yeah. All day then he's been there. All day, both sides. <laughs> I saw both sides. Yeah. I didn't see his right side. Both forks on his left side are good. I told you. Yeah, big, yeah. big left front and, and really just a good, good really good, good left front. front. Yeah. And a good back, not a great back, good back. Yeah. He's just going like this. <laughs> How many but times? the wind's swirly over there. I've been glassing there. We've been glassing I'm like, there that kind of looks like, I'm like, I just saw this. Then all of a sudden I saw it move. <laughs> I literally glassed up that much time. So, I don't know the best way to go after him. The wind's like pushing, I don't know. It's like really inconsistent right now. It's kind of everywhere. I just brought Aaron and Peyton over here. It looks like the buck's still there. There's also the dreaded Doe and Fawn over there too. So, we're gonna try to figure out how to get over there without spooking him.
Well, we got that big four point from yesterday found. He's actually with the nicer four point. I just gotta keep an eye on him. I just don't know how to make a play on him, but I'm sure I get some phone scope footage. Honestly, if I got in on either of those two, I'd probably shoot him. Well, we're probably 500 yards from these deer. We're gonna sneak up the backside and try to come up over top of them. So here we go. Got him re, well, not re-bedded, but in a spot we're gonna try to make a play on him. Not ideal, but we're gonna make it happen, try to make it happen anyway. Thanks to base map, we made it back to our shoes, boots. Mm. That sucked. The, the, the walk back was terrible because you're going faster and you just feel everything. That's all right. We haven't earned a buck yet, I guess. Keep going, I guess. I guess we'll go back to work for a bit. And try again. Maples. 
I've seen him probably five or six times coming through. For sure saw it was big fronts, big frame deer. And he's kind of heading across and angled up, but it's so thick over there. Um, I imagine we'll see him pop out here in a second. So Aaron and Peyton, believe me. We got him found. We just need him to cooperate a little bit and uh, make a play on him, go kill him this morning. All right, we hurry and drop down and we're in position here. We got Aaron up top watching. This buck is 400 yards from here. I set a base map remote marker. Basically take the same stock we went yesterday. We're just gonna do it better and smarter. Here we go. You know, when you get let down bow hunting, it's like you feel like you let your brother down or your buddy down who you're bow hunting with, or then you feel like you let your cameraman down. Suck. Then you let yourself down. Second guess everything that you did. Oh, should I come up higher? Or, you know, would he eventually settle down if those, those, I don't know. Right here, but the sun came up over our eyes. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see. I couldn't see anything right here. So it's like he was there, and I could. I was get, literally getting blinded by the sun. I needed to be like 
a minute sooner to be able to catch him in that opening. So, didn't work out. I got caught in the mouth. I'm sweating to death. This freaking hoodie, I should have taken it off before I left. And then, other than that, doing peachy. Consolation prize. Cherry lime for first form. Link in the description. Well, we got this buck found again and he's in another bad spot. <laughs> Almost no way to stalk him, but we gotta send it. I mean, what else do you do? I've been chasing him for a week now. <sighs> he's never in a good spot. Yesterday was the best spot he's been in. Anyway, here we go. I got Lance walking me in up there. Got the buck spotted. Let's go. Kill day.
Oh, wind hit my neck. Had to draw. As soon as that wind hit my neck, he picked his head up. He knew right. Do you feel it hit your neck too? Yeah, he was like quartering away. I could see antler, neck, and head, and no vitals. So I was like, well, this might be my only shot. Maybe you shouldn't have sent it. I tried to get it right here in the point of the shoulder. That's humbling. Let's go look for my arrow. Right there behind that little tree. Yeah. You find your arrow then? Yeah, that's how I knew. So you always check. I didn't think I hit him. I, I kind of thought, I thought the arrow just hit brush. When I heard him run off, it sounded like a deer that had been hit by something. He was cruising, like crashing through there. Looks like good blood. Smell it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Just watch this. You can literally see your arrow in slow motion going towards them. And so he moves and I think he steps, he turns broadside and steps into the arrow. Oh my gosh, I think you're right. That is so epic. That's insane. It, it might be money, dude, almost. Yeah, because you said you were aiming for high shoulder, neck area. Uh -huh. And if that's where you're aiming, that's, he turned into it. That is insane. It might be lower third. It might be perfect, it might be a touch low. Maybe, but we'll see if it opened up enough. My dudes, what do we got? Yeah. Holy crap. Some blood on the arrow, my man. Ah. No celebrating yet though, till we find him. Let's go find him. I mean, we watched the footage back and we shot it in 10, 120. Watched it in slow motion. You're right, he was turning when the arrow was in flight, but he turned right into the arrow. So it should've went all the way up through him. I think it's a little low, but yeah. Per, per, like perfect spot. Like maybe like second or last rib, Yeah. but low. So I wrote on all these arrows. This is the one I wrote on like, you don't deserve it. Just cause I wanted to be like, you don't deserve anything, you gotta go earn it, you know? Yeah, you do. Freaking six days on this buck. Yeah. That's earned, we earned that one. We earned the shot, we hit him, it ain't over yet. We, yeah. We got it. Yeah, I didn't know how long you were gonna stand there at full draw, so I was like, oh, there's I no was, way I'd have I time was, to hurry I, and grab my leg, I was starting to lose my legs, I was starting to wobble. So I just figured I'd be best just to sit and watch, watch I the buck and. Shot him for 72, probably should've shot him for like 75. Why wait till we sh show you this footage. Some good blood up there? Um. There's blood, I mean. Decent yeah. from right De there where we saw. Decent. You he know. could open up, you know. Yeah. More. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Is that crazy? Wow. He was all covered in brush, too. Yeah. Threaded the arrow through, dude. That's insane. Wow. Yeah, it's hard to see because that brush is in the way to see exactly where it impacts him, but. I don't know, when he runs away, you can't see him yeah. either because he's covered. It's it's good body placement though. Yeah, looks like it. Well, yeah. We're gonna give it time. It's only been a half hour. Yeah. Especially if it's low. Yeah. Give it an hour at least. Pretty cool. We shot the head shot in 1080, 120 frames. So we were able to actually track the arrow as it's kind of going in. He ducks. The shot's low, but he ducks. I think I caught him low somewhere in the ribs. I don't know. It's a complete pass through. It's been two hours. We've got blood the first 10 yards. We don't really know much after that because we haven't gone anywhere, but we feel like this is long enough. If we go slow, look for blood meticulously that we can uh, hopefully find this buck piled up. So fingers crossed, this is the other anxious and uh, nerve-wracking part of bow. I mean, even when you shoot him perfect, I can't tell you how many friends I get phone calls from. I shot this buck perfect, I shot this buck perfect. I can't find it, where'd you hit him? Right behind the shoulder in the pocket. 
So you never know, like, I don't feel great about this shot. Um, but I got two things going. It's a complete pass through and it's good blood on the end of the fletchings. And it doesn't look too far back or too far forward. It just looks low. So here we go. Freaking perfect heart shot. Didn't go 15 oh my gosh. yards. We I heard told you crash. I heard him stop right here. Dude. We've been sitting 15 yards from him. Oh my, oh my gosh, dude. That's insane. <laughs> you're the deer. See, you're the deer, baby. <laughs> Thanks for being here, man. Oh Holy crap. Dude, he's dead as a door now, bro. <laughs> Perfect shot, 72 yards, turn, thread oh the needle. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I'm speechless, dude. What the fuck? This Holy is freaking God. insane. Oh my god. He's funny when we were <laughs> Just what he thought he was, man. Oh, man. Oh my gosh. Look at that back fork and that front fork. He has a mass, too. Good mass, dude. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh, yeah, right Perfect. there, dude. Look at that. It oh came out. Oh, my. Hey, are you filming that? Hey, you grab his leg, right? Freaking perfect shot. I, I don't even know what to say. That Sever 1.5 titanium absolutely did work. You see in the slow mo video, the buck hears my arrow coming, or the strings, or the sound of my strings, flexion of my strings, docks, and that arrow just pinwheeled him. I thought it was low. Is the most unbelievable shot, honestly, I've probably ever made with a bow and ever will make. There's some luck involved when he turned to get ready to wheel, but that's probably the most unbelievable shot I've ever taken. Yeah, every morning I give it to them. Take my breath, I'll be breathing again. I reject all your evil intent. That's just the way that I roll. All I see is a feeble attempt. Talk a lot, but don't even assist. I've been wanting to give him the win. Tell him the more that I know. Get what you're giving and give what you get. Make a decision, don't live with regret. Tell with the system, they follow the steps. Woo! I'm telling you what that I know. This is more than a show. They told you the curtain was closed. So how am I living? I got more to give them. You tell me you ready, let's go. When I look in their face, they couldn't erase it. They get in a dose of that medicine, getting exposed. I'm telling you what that I know. Here you go. Okay. All right, so there we have it. We got them all taken off. It helps to have a friend. Uh, it's done in a time or two, too, and can help with cuts and when you get tired. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and roll up the cape and put him in a Black Ovis game bag and give him a free ride out.
Had a lot worse pack house than that. Oh boy. Drinks on me. Cheers. Cheers. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs>